Good morning, everyone. It's Joker, and today we are back with my first Armored Core 6 video. Um, I've been waiting for this game for a long, long time. It's been 10 years since Verdict Day came out, and I wasn't a big fan of that one or AC5. I really enjoyed 4 and 4 Answer, and then they kind of went that whole weird route in uh, 5 and Verdict Day, and I didn't really enjoy that. And now we have six which is back to you know i think the basics it's a good entry it is difficult because it is still made by the, you know the dark souls and elden ring people and ac wasn't always the easiest thing to begin with in the first place but we're going to be taking on the ocean crossing mission because the sea spider boss can be quite a nuisance for a lot of people so i wanted to record my gameplay on it and how i managed to clear it with my specific build so moving in uh, this is what I'm rocking. I've got the Zimmerman shotguns normally, but for this run, I'm going to actually downgrade myself to the more basic, whatever they are, the Spaz 12 ones, whatever they look like. Uh, the Haldmans. Yeah, we're going to run double Haldmans, and then we're going to run double 8-cell vertical missile launchers on the shoulders. No, no laser cannons. Um, I don't want the straight missiles because they sometimes impact the legs, and they don't do... A lot of damage there they don't really give you that stagger meter so the eight cells because they come down from top they are easy to hit because it's a pretty big target and it does hit that stagger meter quite nicely and then everything else we're running the fermeza frame um, for most of it because it's super lightweight and quick I've got that random head on there because it's the best one I have this is the booster the Alua uh, it's really good for side boosting and makes me really quick. The FCS is the Talbot, which is geared for missiles. The generator is the Ming Tang, which is a really good all-rounder. The assault chip, the assault armor, is really, really good free damage when it's staggered and you're reloading both your shotguns and your rockets. And you can just kind of pop in, let off all four of your weapons, and while they're reloading, pop that. And it's just a little bit of extra chip damage that can add up because you, I'm, I've got it fully upgraded, so I've got three uses of it. So it is just free damage. And then, again, the Fermeza legs, the arms, the body, the... I don't, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. And then we've got the 8-cell missile launchers on the back. This one, the vertical, and the vertical, and then the two shotguns. So that's the build I'm running. Super fast, up-close-and-personal speed build. And uh, let's, let's see how it goes. Oh, also we're going to be showing where to get the battle logs for this mission as well. Because they're not really that hidden, they're not really that difficult, but you do have to know where to go. So let's skip to that. Okay, so once we get out into the flat kind of open area with the satellite cannons, what I like to do is I like to jump into this little hole down below, and you can completely avoid all of it. Like, it's locked on and it's going to try and hit me, but it can't because it's blocked by the ceiling. There's a few little tentacle torpedo squid things i don't know what they're called in here uh just so you can take them out very easily they just take one shot with a shotgun blast if you're in relatively close range and then as soon as you pop out of this little open area you hook a right and you go down this little tunnel and at the very end of it there will be two more little torpedo guys those will give you battle logs and then you immediately turn around and go the opposite direction and there will be another two torpedo guys and they'll also have battle logs the other one's hiding behind the wall on the left, and yeah, there it is right there. Turn around and shoot it, and that gets you the four battle logs for this mission right here. And now we can move forward into the actual boss fight. Alright, so we died a few times before we got to this point, but it's all kind of okay. We're going to have a, a little bit of background sound going on, hopefully it doesn't drown me out. But you launch off a few rockets and a few shotgun blasts up in the beginning and you can kind of do a little bit of free damage. The stagger meter does like reset itself a little bit, but at this point you are pretty much just circling it constantly while trying to avoid getting stepped on. And then right here we let off the assault armor while everything's reloading. Uh, and then, you know, we've done good damage, it's only been about... 15 seconds, right? So the shotgun's really, really up close. The double energy blast can murder you. Like, if you get hit by it, you're staggered, and the second follow-up hit will just end your life. So you do have to be aware of when that's coming. Yeah, like right there, I kind of got hit by it, and I'm staggered. So it's not great, but you're fast enough to where most of the time you can just straight up avoid it unless it's bleeding you, and then you just pull a quick 
and like a quick boost on the other direction, then you should be able to outpace it. Just like you should, if you're circling at full speed, outpace the you know, machine guns it has. And then you have to avoid its whole claw to like attack. Now staying under it like that, it does allow it to kind of land on you when it's falling, and it does do damage and does stagger you, which if it's about to jump away and do something else, it can hurt quite a bit. But now we're here into the second phase, and he's flying. Um, you can get some free damage off right here before it does its first laser charge, but you do want to be off the ground when that hits, otherwise it's going to do tremendous damage to you. And now, also, don't get hit by that. Don't get hit by the blast from the shotguns, and then also don't get hit by the straight line laser, because those will end you. The shotgun blast can pretty much kill you in two shots, and then the laser will annihilate you as well. But the missiles, because now it's high up, you know, you have to stay on the ground, but it makes it easy that you don't have to track them upwards. You can just launch them off, and they will go up, and they'll come right down on top of it, as long as it's relatively in the same area. And now here, we're super duper close. We only have one health pack, which we just used, and then we got hit by a lot of stuff right there, which is a terrible misplay. And now, to avoid the whole spinning slash thing, you just super boost up and away, so you can avoid all of it. So let's rewind there. Um we can see that it's about to take on. So after it's staggered, we get up, go some personal, launch a few stuff, do the last assault armor right there, and then it's going to come in. And where is it? Where is it? All right, come on. Come on. All right, yeah, there's the misplay right there. All right, so there, right here is where he's about to go into his super spinning, and that is a one-shot, because you're just kind of stun-locked into it. So in order to get around that, you just want to immediately from where you are, just control or whatever it is on PC or P PS4 or Xbox, and just zoom away and up from it, and you can avoid that entire damage. And then as you're falling, you can get some easy damage from your rockets in, and then, you know, pretty much. And we're down to 113 health, <laughs> which is not great, but... Two more shotgun blasts, and we are able to take it down with 113 HP left. Not my best run of it, but hey, I've tried many other builds. I've tried the tank build with full heavy weapons. It kind of works because you can keep it staggered pretty much every other volley, um, and you have a lot of armor. But And I've also tried the kind of quadruped with laser cannons also on a biped, and I just couldn't do it. It was too slow. It was way too slow and didn't have enough armor to take all the hits. So that is the clear of the Sea Spider. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to make more Armored Course content, let me know in the comments. But uh, that's it for me, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you all later.